My name is Alexis Taylor, and I'm a senior business student, double majoring in social entrepreneurship and business ethics management, with an emphasis on international culture studies. I am from Independence, Missouri, and I have the honor of being the first to welcome everyone to my college, the Hyder College of Business. On behalf of the student body, thank you for igniting the greatness in us. We are grateful, ambitious, and ready to contribute to Creighton's legacy of the finest in Jesuit business education. We have so much to celebrate this afternoon, and let's begin by thanking God for our blessings. The Reverend Don Dahl of the Society of Jesus holder of the Charles and Mary Hyder Endowed Jesuit Faculty Chair, will provide the invocation. And let us pray. God our Father, bless us as we gather to celebrate the opening of the Charles and Mary Hyder Business School in this facility. We pray for Charles and Mary and their entire family and we also pray for the benefactors, benefactors who made this dream possible. <clears throat> we recall your son, Jesus Christ, teaching in the Gospel of Matthew. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on this earth with moth and decay destroy and thieves break in and steal, but store up treasures in heaven where neither moth nor decay destroys nor thieves break in and steal. You warned us. No one can serve two masters. He will either hate the one and love the other or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. For where your treasure is, there also will your heart be. We learn from St. Ignatius how to listen to our hearts, to the voice of the Holy Spirit speaking within, and to discern how you are calling us to serve. Help us to pray as St. Ignatius of Loyola did as he stood in front of the crucified world and asked ourselves as he did, what have I done for Christ in this world? What am I doing now? And above all, what should I do? Assist all of us, the alumni, the staff, the faculty and students who traverse these halls become men and women who use their talents to serve others. Lord, <clears throat> Lord, we end with Pope Francis's prayer, make us faithful stewards of your creation and assist us to enhance the human dignity of our global family. Amen. Thank you, Father Dahl. I would like to recognize some of our special guests here tonight. Members of the University Board of Trustees, and Board Chair Bruce Rohde, Father Lannon, Provost O'Connor, University Vice Presidents, Deans, Faculty Members, Staff and Fellow Students, Charles and Mary Hyder, Scott and Cindy Hyder and their son Grant, Mark Hyder, and Charles and Mary Hyder's nieces, Susan Hyder Coleman and Beth Hyder Scannell, and best husband Steve. Mark and Margaret Huber, George and Susan Van Tyker, Mike Harper and his sister Carol Lyman, as well as his daughter and son-in-law Betsy and Chris Murphy, and Donald Waite, who traveled a long distance to be with us here today. Honored guests and distinguished alumni, thank you for blessing this evening with your presence. To the more than over 1,200 alumni, friends, families, corporations and foundations who have contributed to the Ignite the Greatness campaign, thank you for making our college even stronger. Your support is a challenge to us, and we pledge to be worthy recipients of your confidence. Like you, we will earn the rewards of long-term business success fostered through hard work. As you can see, we have plenty of role models here today. Creighton's Hyder College of Business 
Students look forward to welcoming our new colleagues who arrive at this university because of Creighton's increased notoriety and visibility, especially in the Big East markets. And our future enrollment goal of 1,000 students is perfect. It is right size to create a diverse community with small classrooms just minutes away from the big opportunities in downtown Omaha. The Hyder College of Business will advance the Creighton Business School brand best expressed by the relationship between faculty and students. We trust our professors because they are active in the business community. We will always remember them as difference makers in our lives because our faculty members introduce us to Omaha as a real world business lab. I am currently working two internships in this business lab in Omaha, and one is with Dundee Venture Capital, which is a phenomenal learning experience. And I see firsthand how integrity sustains business and elevates society through economic empowerment. My other internship is on Creighton's campus with the Business Ethics Alliance a nonprofit to building a climate of business ethics excellence. The Business Ethics Alliance received a Dr. George Haddock's faculty research grant, and I'm among a group conducting an ethical risk assessment on the undergraduate population in the College of Business. I also participate in the Anna Tyler Waite Leadership Program, one of the few four-year leadership programs in the country that offers business students the opportunity to study and practice leadership in a college setting. Thank you, Mr. Waite, and please send our best to Mrs. Waite from all the students here on campus. Leadership is the key to business excellence, and the Hyder College of Business students for generations will be indebted to Creighton's benefactors, faculty, staff and fellow students for helping us develop our leadership abilities. I would like to call out two of the finest examples of leadership my colleagues and I have seen. In particular, Scott Heider and Mark Huber. Thank you for believing in us and for leading the Ignite the Greatness campaign. Someone else who has been a great influence on my education is Dean Anthony Hendrickson. About five years ago, he visited my hometown and talked to prospective Creighton students about an, an educational model based on cura personalis, or care for the whole person. And I didn't speak Jesuit then, so <laughs> he described it. He talked about a learning environment where students not were only to speak up in discussion-based lecture classes, but it was expected of them. He painted a picture of opportunities to interact with faculty members and collaborate with our peers, qualities expected by our future employers. He told us about being treated as individuals, not as statistics, as we develop our skills at a top-ranked university. Dr. Hendrickson was full of promises about the richness of a Creighton education, and he has more than delivered. This day is about promises fulfilled and the advancement of dreams. A man from my hometown was very fond of saying, make no little plans, Harry S. Truman said. Make the biggest plans you can think of and spend the rest of your life carrying those out. I think this is great advice. And every student who passes through those doors of this awesome, modern facility makes no little plans. We recognize that the donors who created this college believe in our futures and advocate for our success. This is our new home, complete with a fireplace to remind us that now that the greatness has been ignited, we all must keep the fire burning. Today is a very special day for the Dean of the Hyder College of Business, Dr. Anthony Hendrickson.
and I invite Dr. Hendrickson to the podium when he is ready. Thank you. Thank you, Alexis. I don't know how they always have me follow great students. We're going to have to talk about this. Um, I'd like to uh, thank the Ignite the Greatness co-chairs, Scott Heider, Mark Huber, the trustees chair, Bruce Rohde, Creighton president, the Reverend Timothy R. Lannon of the Society of Jesus. Thank you. This is your day. The Ignite the Greatness accomplishment speaks volumes about the stewardship of our board and our leadership. You envisioned this moment, and it has arrived. What a gift to the entire community, campus community, to Omaha, to the world. In higher education, new buildings are attention getters. The reason is because new facilities speak to where an organization is going. But buildings are significant only because of what they mean to the people inside them. Structures accomplish nothing if you have not built a lasting culture. The founder of Whole Foods, John Mackey, said, culture eats strategy for breakfast. Thankfully, we have both. Our culture is steeped in Jesuit and Catholic traditions of magis and a spirit of philanthropy. Our alumni are the kind of people who return and say thank you. The students and faculty and I view the gifts of this campaign as a continuation of that culture. You have provided the startup capital, seed money. It's venture capital that will yield great personal, professional, and economic dividends to society. The Ignite the Greatness campaign strategy was rooted in the idea of capacity utilization. The board and Father Lannon recognized that a financially prudent capital enhancement plan will provide the capacity for at least a thousand business students. This undertaking also represents the largest expansion on Creighton's academic footprint. With upgrades to seven buildings on campus and offices for the College of Arts and Sciences and the Division of Student Life. Business classes began this past August here in the Harper Center. We opened quickly and efficiently, efficiently due to the encouragement of our trustees and to the internal leadership of Dan Berkey and John Wilhelm and the entire facilities department team. Well, anyone that knows Charlie knows what a truly humble man he is. And when I first heard about this gift, uh, Scott and Charlie and their family shared it with me in Father Lannon's residence. And um, Charlie said that he was, was interested in making this transformational gift, but he was very concerned about putting his name or Mary's name on this. And I said, oh, Charlie, we, you absolutely must put your name on this. Uh, you, your name is so well respected, it's so important, you must put it on there. In fact, Charlie, truth be known, we ought to be paying you to put your name on it. <laughs> of course, Father Landon stepped in and said, now let's don't lose our heads here. <laughs> Charlie's humility is only overshadowed by that of Mary. Scott and Charlie were coming down here a couple days ago to visit campus and kind of see what was going on and the progress we'd made. And Scott shared with me that before Charlie left home that Mary sternly told him, Charlie, you just make sure that they don't make a big deal out of this. <laughs> Sorry, Mary. <laughs> the Hydro Transformational Gift furthers what happens here every day, magic. That magic has been occurring for decades. It is evidenced when a young student grows up to be a senior executive at Nike and years later returns to campus with a pair of custom-made shoes for his favorite professor. It's evidenced when a professor like John Begley witnesses student after student unable to 
make tuition, make a, make a payment here or there, and loan some money. John Begley, ever the accountant, made those loans to students, and be, ever the accountant kept a little ledger. Who he loaned to, who he paid back, when and where, how much. And yet, on his deathbed, he summoned his brother and said, go to my house, get that ledger, and burn it. It has been said that at Creighton, and it's certainly true, that we stand on the shoulders of giants. The stories could continue all evening. University and campaign leadership and Father Landon tell the College of Business story better than anyone, and donors have responded. Among those passionate about this campaign's success is the Creighton University Board of Trustees Chair, Mr. Bruce Rohde. He is the chairman of Romar Capital Group and the chairman and CEO emeritus of ConAgra Foods. In his over 25 years on the Creighton Board, this is his third major university campaign in which Bruce has served a central leadership role. He earned a Bachelor's of Science in Business Administration and a Juris Doctorate here at Creighton. Please help me welcome Bruce Rohde. Thank you, Dean Hendrickson. This is truly a momentous day for Creighton, and thank you, Charlie, and thank you, Mary, and thank everyone else. It's, it's even more special today because Moans Bai, the chairman and CEO of Valmont, is going to be your keynote speaker. I've known Moans for a long time, probably half of our adult lives, Moans. And I can tell you that Moans takes very seriously Valmont's vision to conserve resources and improve life. And every single day, Moens and the entire Valmont team across the world strive for continuous improvement. That quest provides common ground and an excellent role model for the Creighton University Hyder College of Business in the years ahead. Along with his wife, Cindy, the Moens and Cindy are a dynamic duo, and together they represent the finest of Omaha's volunteers. As a Creighton University trustee, Moens believes in the value of a Creighton education and philanthropy from the buys and the foundations they represent, the Robert B. Doherty Foundation, the Peter Kiewit Foundation, touch the lives of so many students we couldn't count them. Scott Heider, Mark Huber, Father Lannan, Dean Hendrickson, and I benefited immensely from counsel from Moens as we went through this project. He's a visionary leader. He navigates many roles on a worldwide stage, and he added substantial dimension to our thought process and heartfelt encouragement. I'd like you to welcome Moens, and following Moens, uh, Father Lannan will be up here. Moens, thank you for being here. Thank you, Bruce. Father Lannan members of Creighton University's uh, faculty and students, Dean Henriksen, alumni, honored guests. I added honored guests to make sure I didn't forget anybody around here. <laughs> this is indeed a great day for Creighton, but it's also a great day for business. The big idea credit goes to Father Lannan and Dean Henriksen. Thank you both for leading the expansion and renewal of this nationally ranked College of Business and for creating a world-class environment in which you will educate generations of talented young men and women for years to come. The role of a CEO is fairly easy to identify. It is setting strategy, allocating resources, and making sure that you find great leaders to run our various businesses. The strength of a company is not its property, its plant, or its equipment. A company is a living organism of people working together in teams to create extraordinary results. 
a company's success is 100% a result of the quality of its people. Nothing is more important than to attract the right leaders. We need smart people with enthusiasm and energy, but most importantly, with good ethics and integrity. Because smart, smart people with lots of energy, but without integrity, may destroy your company. Creighton University, in my opinion, is uniquely positioned to graduate the kind of leaders business community will need in the future. Your students at the college will not only receive the necessary business tools, but they will be educated in good ethics and the importance of integrity. Because of your Jesuit tradition, you attract young people from good families. They know right from wrong. But they will be taught here that not only is it important what you accomplish, it is more important how you accomplish it. Treat people, everyone, with compassion and with respect. I always say that Valmont can survive for a long, long time without a CEO. But if we don't have welders, we close our doors this afternoon. So every single person in our organization is vital to our success. The Ignite the Greatness campaign will go down as a historic moment in Creighton's history. This campaign not only raised the awareness and um, it not only raised the funds to create what we are celebrating here today, but it also raised the awareness about Creighton and especially its business college and its incredible impact on our city. Scott Heider and Mark Huber, they inspired alums, business leaders, community leaders, by spreading the knowledge that nearly 80% of the students, the business students at Creighton come from outside Nebraska, and nearly 50% or more than 50% of them remain in our community to start their careers after graduation. I can understand why. I'm an example of a non-native Omahan who was welcomed into this community more than 30 years ago. We adopted one another. And I cannot think of a better community and a better environment in which to invest in a business career. I know that's what Creighton students also find. A longtime member of Creighton University's Board of Trustees, I can tell you that a degree from our business school is a differentiator. As a CEO, I can also tell you that, a, that the graduates from our business school are in high demand. Just ask our Fortune 500 companies, such as Conagra and Union Pacific, what they think and what they feel about graduates from this fine institution. As the enrollment in the business college over the coming years will grow substantially in this magnificent facility, it will only further enhance the reputation of Creighton and our community. As CEO of Valmont, I take return on invested capital very seriously. It's the only thing that creates value for our shareholders. I have the honor of chairing the Robert B. Doherty Board of Trustees and to serve as a trustee of the Peter Kiebert Foundation. We also take return on investment very, very seriously. The resources entrusted to these foundations ultimately belong to the community. We do not present gifts, we invest. These investments are intended to advance a vision and to better our communities. This is also what Creighton University is all about, educating men and women to become our next generation of engaged leaders in business 
and in our communities. Jonathan Swift said, vision is the art of seeing what is invisible to others. I can assure you that Father Lannan and Deed Henriksen will continue to provide the college vision, which places faculty members in our business community as educators and researchers. And speaking about vision, at Valmont, our vision has not changed in 20 years. That is a testament to the fact that a good vision will stand the test of time. I was pretty proud of that until I learned that the vision statement for Jesuit universities has not changed in 465 years. <laughs> it says, provide an education committed to the whole person, so not only your brain, but also your heart. Educate men and women of compassion and competence. So not only the tools, but also the how. Imbued in the desire to seek in all things the greater glory of God. That is powerful, and that has stood the test of time. What a name for this college, Haida College of Business. Yes, the Haida name indicates a substantial financial commitment, but much more importantly, the name will add to the reputation of this College of Business. The Haidas in our community stand for vision, trust, excellence, humility, humility Jesuit orientation, and the College of Business will reflect these values. What a combination. The Doherty Foundation played a major role in this campaign. Bob Doherty would be proud and delighted if he was here tonight. He was a very close friend of Charlie Haider. He trusted you and he admired you. He always said, Charlie thinks straight. How do I know that? He told me several times, but his actions spoke much louder than his words. Decades ago, in his estate plan, it said that if something would happen to Bob, Charlie Haider would have a major role in how his Valmont stock would be voted. Valmont was Bob's life work. He controlled the company, and he trusted Charlie to do the right thing. You could get no higher compliment from Bob. A big thank you, Mary and Charlie, for what you've done for this community for many, many years. Your investment in this business college will forever change the course of business on this campus and in our communities. On this great occasion, I think of a quote from the founder of the Jesuits, Saint Ignatius, and how appropriate it is at this moment. So I can say to all of you, go forth and set the world on fire. Thank you. Mons, thank you so much for your remarks. And also, let me echo what Bruce Rohde said. Mons was the first person that we visited about this campaign. And he shook his head a couple times in this direction. And he gave us some suggestions that we went back and changed our case to make the case even more compelling. So thank you so much also for your wisdom and fine counsel. I asked Mary Heider about 30 minutes ago, maybe 45 minutes ago, how do you like the building? And she said, the sign. I said, well, what about the sign? And she said, the Hyder College of Business. I said, what about it? She goes, it's too big. <laughs> now, if Mary had her way, it would be a six-point font, Hyder College of Business. I know of no family that loves this university as much as the Hyders. Their devotion, their commitment, their generosity, two endowed chairs, two scholarship funds, 
Hyder Hall where I live and now the Hyder College of Business. For me, in many ways, the Hyders are, in a sense, the second founders of this university in partnership with the Creightons. Let me direct your attention to the screen. Edward Charles and John Andrew Creighton and their wives, Mary Lucretia and Sarah Emily, established a legacy of hard work and determination forged in the can-do attitude of the Great Plains. They envisioned possibilities and were willing to take risks to elevate the small city of Omaha to a center of commerce. They saw opportunities for telegraph communications, banking, transportation, and agriculture. But their entrepreneurial contributions pale in comparison to the Catholic education philanthropy for which they are most recognized today. Realizing the city they helped build would continue to prosper only through an educated citizenry, the Creightons established a Catholic school that, under the leadership of the Jesuits, would become a world-class institution, encompassing nine schools and colleges with the Catholic Church at the center and Jesuit leadership at its core. Their vision inspires the great philanthropists who followed, those who reflect on the Creightons as their role models for generosity. It's a vision rooted in the Ignatian ideal of always seeking the magis for the greater glory of God, embodied by the Hyders. Charles and Mary Hyder would write the next chapter in Creighton's history. Just over seven decades following Creighton's founding, Charles Hyder arrived from Carroll, Iowa to the College of Commerce. The Hyders singularly elevated the university to new heights through cancer research, prevention, and cure while advancing their family legacy of generosity. Because they wanted to share their blessings, they established the Endowed Jesuit Faculty Chair and the Endowed Chair in Cancer Research, created a flourishing business school, and funded athletic scholarships. The Hyders taught a campus community to dream big while always advancing a vision for modern facilities focused on opportunities for the College of Business to grow and allowing the entire university to thrive in the 21st century. Through the Ignite the Greatness campaign, the Hyders embraced another university campaign to benefit generations of talented graduates who will call Omaha home. and increasing opportunities like never before to create new possibilities inside and outside the classroom. A vision was shaped for what Creighton will become, where Creighton business students learn from business professionals, connecting them directly to the business community. These unique faculty members are charged to deliver practical application of the skills taught, engage students in challenging dialogue, and teach students to think critically. By demanding an ethical approach to business, our real-world business professors ask students to prepare for leadership, providing corporate Omaha with a steady, smart workforce to join our city's top businesses every year. A world-class internship program continues to ignite the greatness of our future business leaders as positive influences in our community and the world. Our multidisciplinary curriculum places Hyder College of Business graduates in high demand. They earn opportunities to advance the world's most recognized brands, while their Creighton tuition dollars produce an outstanding return on investment. Creighton's excellence in academics increased its national footprint, paving the way for an invitation to join the Big East Conference. As Omaha has grown, Creighton discovered opportunities to partner with downtown, midtown, and greater Omaha revitalization, growing all constituencies in national stature and prestige.
by increasing our College of Business enrollment, we will contribute even more to the brain gain for Omaha and Nebraska. As 65% of out-of-state students stay here. The time is now for new beginnings. Exercising prudent use of existing campus space, the Hyder College of Business is the single most significant achievement in business education at Creighton. A named college shines a national spotlight on a university and elevates it in the national consciousness. The world awaits more Hyder College of Business alumni. We will have the capacity to build our student body as more wear the distinction of uniting their names with the outstanding business and ethical leadership of the Hyder family and hang their Hyder College of Business diplomas in their offices. Alumni will state on their resumes they earned a Hyder College of Business degree. Characterized by nationally ranked programs, with internationally renowned faculty in a real world paradigm, the Hyder College of Business enrollment will grow. The Hyder's historic gift makes all things possible as the Hyder College of Business increases in reputation and excellence and highly regarded alumni are sought after candidates for employment opportunities answering St. Ignatius's call to change the world in Christ's image, study humankind, transform yourself and your community, seek truth in all you do, go forth and set the world on fire. Please join me in thanking Mary and Charlie Hyder. In many ways on this historic day, the Hyder College of Business affirms our highest aspirations be recognized by offering the finest Jesuit business education in the world. Like yourselves, you may have heard Charlie say, when you are blessed, you have an obligation to share. And share you have with what you've done for this university, especially in the naming of our College of Business. And you've demonstrated to us what we can be and what we will be through your generosity and belief in this university and also the Hyder College of Business. We are a great university, but we are now positioned for even more greatness. Today, all of us unite with you, the Hyders, to bring about even better and greater things for this university, including our Hyder College of Business. I, my part as president, I devote myself to make sure that we're excellent stewards of your gift to bring about great things and great opportunities for our students and faculty and staff in our College of Business, the Hyder College of Business. Also to this campaign, which I know will be no surprise to you, Ignite the Greatness is not yet done. We will continue to invite our alums and friends and parents to partner with our donors to contribute to this great effort. As some of you may recall, less than a year ago, we gathered in this auditorium to announce this campaign, Ignite the Greatness. And our goals were threefold, with encouragement and support and direction from our Board of Trustees. Goal number one, to provide a world-class learning environment for our students, with a goal of $10.5 million. Goal number two, to raise the awareness of this college, our success in national rankings, in finance, information technology management, tuition investment return, and joining the Big East. And that goal was $10 million. And the third goal was to raise additional funds to provide scholarship assistance for our students, as well as support for faculty development and faculty efforts. I am pleased to announce today that all three initiatives have been met. And today, with great gratitude and with great respect, 
we thank our lead donors for this campaign, Ignite the Greatness. So please hold your applause until all the names have been read. Charles and Murray Heider. George and Susan Van Tyker. The Robert B. Doherty Foundation. The Peter Kiewit Foundation. Scott and Cindy Heider. Mark and Margaret Huber. The Suzanne and Walter Scott Foundation. Union Pacific. The Charles Koch Foundation. Gail Werner Robertson and Scott Robertson. Don Waite and Anna Tyler Waite. And gifts from two major donors. I would ask these donors to please stand and be recognized and thanked by all of us, please. Again, if you would, please turn your attention to the screen for a very wonderful and uplifting announcement. Is that not extraordinary? And my thanks on behalf of Creighton, our Board of Trustees, to all of you who have made this all possible for Creighton University and the Hyder College of Business. In our lives, we've all been warned by fires that you and I did not build. In this case, too, future generations will benefit from the efforts of so many of you in regard to the Hyder College of Business. We've had great leadership. As we all know, leadership makes a difference. And the leadership in this campaign has been extraordinary. So please join me in honoring and thanking Scott Heider, Mark Huber, and their families. Please. <laughs> Scott and Mark build a wonderful leadership team, a cabinet of people that have been extraordinary in regard to their volunteer efforts, soliciting gifts, and also making gifts. Would the members of the Leadership Cabinet please stand and be thanked and recognized by all of us? <laughs> I don't want to embarrass Scott Heider, but I just want to say a little more about Scott. He has been absolutely persistent in this campaign. Unbelievable, tenacious, dedicated, open doors, made things happen, and Scott, again, thank you so much for your great leadership. I, I called Scott, I called Scott about two months ago, and I said, Scott, I've got another project for you at Creighton. And he said, well, can I have a break after the gala on, on the 23rd? And I said, yes, I'll call you the 25th of October. So get, get ready for my call on the 25th. One last person. Is this building not a beautiful building? Beautiful building. And made possible by this man right there, Mike Harper. Mike, thank you so much. <laughs> On behalf of Bruce Rohde, our Board of Trustees, our faculty and staff, our students, and all of us at Creighton University, thank you so much for making this day possible, for transforming this university in your generous gift in your generous gifts. So with great pleasure, I'd like to invite you now to the first official reception held in honor of the Hyder College of Business. Thank you, everyone. May God bless you all.